So the Toronto Maple Leafs won 4 1. And yeah, I think I am ready to eat my words about Ilya Mikheyev. The guy, I mean, you have to respect like Ilya Mikheyev that first game. You just gotta, wow. So, I wasn't a fan of Ilya. Um, when, uh, I, admittedly, when he got signed from uh, um, the KHL, we, I remember that picture with Mike Babcock, and I was like, oh, uh, okay, I guess. Because I just kind of expected him to be exactly as he turned out. He turned out better than I thought. He surprised me a lot over his tenure with the Leafs, like two years so far. I don't hate this guy. I like what he bring, brings to the table. I haven't seen uh, him do that before. Like the the uh, the move uh, behind uh, the legs twice in front of the net. I like that. He was uh, actually going hard to the net. I he um, and then came through in overtime for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I know it doesn't count. But I had the mentality when I watched the highlights this morning that what if this was like uh, a, a regular season, like or like overtime? Uh, how would they bring it? Uh, even if, like, it, I know it's for fun, I get it, but like, still. Joshua Hosang, I didn't talk about him uh, in my uh, first uh, video, the one I did like literally just yesterday. Um, I like Joshua Hosang. I'm excited to see what uh, Gusev can do, even uh, if he uh, is reportedly like a defensive liability. I think uh, the Leafs uh, see a chance. May maybe she uh, had the summer to like. Obviously, he had the whole summer uh, to get better. So uh, maybe he worked on his defensive game over the summer. I'm hopeful. Uh. Because uh, the one thing is clear, I watched the Toronto Maple Leafs, um, in the, the video that they put out, I forgot what it's called just now, the, yeah, I just forgot what it's called. So anyways, and uh, in uh, the YouTube videos uh, about the Toronto Maple Leafs, the, the ones that they just put out, the journey, that's what it's called, the journey. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so in that video, they were talking about, uh, um, Brendan Shanahan was talking about, or some, a um, bunch of people in the organization was talking about defense with this team. Uh, the fact that they felt they were fine defensively, they needed to upgrade on a wing. And they did that with, uh, Murchi, they did that with Kase, they did that with Bunting. They did that by uh, giving guys like Ho Seng, who's proven to be pretty good so far. <coughs> um, Gabriel Curtis, Charm Maple Leaf legend already. <laughs> With that one fight. Yeah, okay, here's the trick. If you want to... if you Okay, a message to anyone who uh, might end up... I don't even know how seeing this video. And you want to make it on the Charm Maple Leafs, like... And make a name for yourself. Get into a fight the first game. Hit somebody. Get into a fight. You'll go down as a legend. No matter what you do. It doesn't matter. Because you'll always have that one fight. That one moment. And then your Leafs career is set. And then you can just carry that momentum. So my um, advice to Gabriel Curtis. Keep it up. Dude, I love you <laughs> already. <laughs> You're amazing. Oh god. Um I uh, Mikhaev still can't finish. It seems in game, but at least he got some nice moves in over time. <laughs> oh my god, this team. So uh Sandine, I they're okay. A little, uh, Lily Grin was okay. Everyone else is like T Tavares, 
Oh my god, I love the fact that he's a leaf so much. Um, William Nylander came to play. Everybody came to play that game, wow. I noticed that they played a lot more of a cycle game. Because uh, last year, as good as they were, I still felt like and there was still like some Mike Babcock, like Peter Horacek, uh, Randy Carlisle BS in their play. I still felt like it was just a little bit like unorganized at times. Obviously, like they had problems still, like on the, uh, like some nights uh, starting on time. So a lot of problems still had to like be bailed out by Jack Campbell on a few nights. This year, I mean, I'm going based on just the what I saw and how they played as a five or like yeah, they didn't even. I don't even think they took a penalty that game. As a five-man unit, they were fine. They were perfectly good. They were better than last year at any point of the season last year in just this one preseason game alone in terms of the style they chose to play with. I know. I get it. It's a preseason game. Get off of my bleep. <laughs> but still, um, I noticed that, the, uh, like... Uh, they definitely must have taken a few pointers uh, in the playoffs from like watching the other teams like Boston, for example. Like um, they probably they definitely took notes from Boston. They must have, <laughs> especially like I mean at at the very least they were amazing against Washington. They were amazing against um, uh, the Islanders and. Uh, up until the point where they just blew it against the Islanders, but then it, but then again, lose Islanders were just amazing. Tampa, I can see a different, a definite, like, um, willingness to uh, change the way they play on the ice. And by that, I mean like they're using like the center of the ice more. They're not like shoving pucks up like the by the boards they're not really doing that static like d-man to d-man pass up to uh, a winger kind of thing there it feels like there's more like cohesion in the way they play uh montreal played fine in that game but they but even as a preseason game from montreal's perspective you just lost to uh the stanley cup champions the Tampa Bay Lightning you are embarrassed that whole um entire um uh finals you had that one game you won and it was an amazing win uh for Montreal they celebrated on the streets that was their Stanley Cup I'm not I mean no like literally that's as good as it's ever gonna get against Tampa that was their Stanley Cup I'm not taking that back I still remember Drunk Kucherov. How did this video turn into just my thoughts about the whole playoffs? Oh, yeah, because I feel like the Leafs definitely learned a thing or two by watching the playoffs. So everybody who's on the Leafs bleep about, oh, my God, wow, it's just one game. It's just preseason. No, it means something. It was a statement game. Even as a preseason game, I the Leafs uh, put effort. Oh, no, but where's the effort going to come from when the playoffs get here? We'll deal with that when it comes from. But I promise this Leafs team, they've got a, they've, they've got a different mentality. It's Cobra Kai. It is sweep the leg. And also, what are the three rules of Cobra Kai? Number one, strike first. Two, strike hard. Three, uh, rule number three, and my personal favorite, no mercy. No mercy has already become with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Peace.